Hey guys, Tendal Horse here. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick run through of how to play Ashes Rise of the Phoenix Born on Tabletop Simulator. So, first thing you have to do is go into the Steam Workshop for Tabletop Simulator and find the Ashes Rise of the Phoenix Born mod and you have to subscribe to it. Once you've done that, start up Tabletop Simulator. Uh, and select either single player or multiplayer and you'll come to a screen uh, that shows you all the games that you can choose now what you're gonna wanna press is or what you're gonna wanna click on is Steam Workshop this will load up all the mods that you have subscribed to and you're just gonna want to find Ashes Rise of the Phoenix Born and select that the mod takes a few seconds to load up but once it's loaded up you'll notice that you've got your promo cards and all of the cards in the base set right off to the side alright so now I'll talk about how uh, deck building works so in order to build a deck let's say you want to build a Mayoni deck you just take the cards that you'd like and drag them over uh, let's say I only need, I want three cards from the, uh, I want snakes and silver, and that's all I'm really going to need. Uh, a quick and easy way to search through and get those cards is using the search key. Uh, there is no hotkey for it that I know of, but it's pretty simple to do. You just have to... Uh, click uh, right click and click on search um, and in order to stop the search right click and it'll uh, the first tab should be the uh, stop search so once uh, you've gotten the cards that you need so let's say I want all the snakes and silver uh, rather than having to go through and search all of the snakes and silver cards I can easily just copy it with control C and paste with control V and now I have my three that I want and I'll go ahead and do the same thing with uh, the rest of them so let's go ahead and just uh, I'll just take off the top three cards of this deck uh, and pretend that this is the deck that I want and there we go so now we have a deck um, I'll grab the conjurations, whatever conjurations you need, and just uh, place them on top or off to the side. Doesn't really matter. Um, you can just uh, take all of them and put them, you know, next to each other if you'd like. Uh, take all the dice that you want and set them in front or uh, anywhere you'd like and highlight them. And then what you're going to do to save that deck is you're going to save to chest, give it a name, test deck, and now you have that deck saved into your chest. So let's say I am, let's delete this, there we go. Uh, let's say I want to load it back up in a separate game. Uh, you have to either be the host or promote, be promoted. Uh, so here's the promote. And um, once you get promoted, you can then go into your chest, go to your saved objects, and there is the test deck that you have. So if you click on that, loads it up and now you have your deck with you at all times so now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about all the minor details all the different little hotkeys that you can use to make the game smoother and easier to play so let's say I've, I want to use this deck the snake and snakes and silver deck um, I have my Phoenix born uh, I have my deck above that and then um, I've got the conjuration pile right so 
when I'm searching for my first five, uh, you go ahead and use the search key. Uh, but if you don't want to show your opponent your uh, hand, what you can do is you can press F4 or this key right here, zone. And what that will do is if you click and drag, it'll create a hidden area that your opponent can't see through. Uh, it's a little bit buggy. Sometimes um, certain cards will be visible when you're searching. But overall, you don't really notice very much detail about the deck. Um, then you're going to want to, if you don't hit the uh, F1 or the hand key again, what will end up happening is you'll just... Uh, D zone your hidden zone. So you're going to want to go back to the F1 uh, hand key and then start searching. So once you've searched for your first five, let's say I want these five right here, four and five. All right, so I've searched my first five. I'll go ahead and stop the search. Uh, I am going to want to flip the cards over and then hidden, uh, put my hidden zone away. Now to gather the cards, uh, all you have to do is just either group them or as you can see there's the hotkey G. So if you press G, it'll group all the cards together. If you want to draw all of them, rather than um, individually bringing them into your hand, all you have to do is just highlight the deck that you want to draw from and hit a number. So let's say for this one, I want to draw all five. I hit five and it draws all five cards. Uh, if, let's say, I'm drawing from the deck you know, all I, and I only want to draw one card, I hit one and I can draw one card. Um, you can also, once again, uh, right click and hit draw and draw as many cards as you need, like that. But I find that just doing the, uh, the numbers makes it much easier and much faster. Alright, so let's say you want to select your dice. You need your dice and um, you didn't save the dice um, ahead of time what you can do is left click on one of the openings of the dice bag and right click however many dice you need so let's say I need uh, five charm dice I'll just left click and then right click five times and now I have my five charm dice uh, same thing with my natural dice and I have my five you can also use that when you are picking up your dice as well. So if I wanted to just pick up two dice, I can just select this one and then left, uh, left click this one and then right click to grab another one. Right click to grab another one or right click to grab every single one of them like that. So now I have all of them in my hand. Um, you can always just click and drag to, if you need to pick up all of them. Um, but it's it's useful just to pick up a couple rather than you know having to drag one or two uh, off to the side every single time. There is voice chat in TTS, in uh, Tabletop Simulator. Uh, there are two options that you can choose from. If you go into configuration, you can actually choose to either push to talk or toggle voice. The uh, default button is the letter C on your uh, keyboard. So if you do the push to talk, obviously you, uh, you have to push every single time you want to speak or you can just toggle voice. And if you toggle it, then it'll just be left on until you toggle it off. Uh, I prefer toggling it because um, that way I don't have to keep remembering to uh, hit C to let people know what I'm doing. Um, it's all up to personal preference, so there's that.
All right, so then there's uh, the Alt key, which allows you to zoom in on a card. This is very useful if you want to read what your opponent has. So let's say your opponent played uh, 100 blades. You can press and hold down Alt and look at it in um, a thousand times the uh, size of uh, the, the table board. Also, if let's say you wanted to look um, at their dice or their entire board, um, rather than just one card, you can hit the M key and it will magnify the uh, board rather than just uh, one card. So if you alt a dice, what it shows is each dice uh, individually. If you magnify, it'll show an entire cluster. If any of you have seen uh, any of my YouTube videos, you'll notice that what I tend to do is I tend to increase the size of my cards. Um, what you, how, you, how you do that is by highlighting, um, highlighting any object on the board and pressing either plus or minus to increase or decrease. So if I wanted to increase the size, I hit plus. If I want to decrease, I hit minus. So now I want to talk about the randomization of Tabletop Simulator. Now, there are two ways to go about rolling dice and shuffling your deck. Uh, one is you can either pick up the dice and shake your mouse and it'll cluster them together. Um, and then you just let it go and it will roll all the dice randomly like that. Or you can also hit R. Now if you look uh, after I right click, you'll see rolling, press R. If you do that, it also will roll it. Uh, however, for me, I personally do not like that way of rolling, hitting R because it tends to be very, um, it doesn't tend to be very random. Uh, I like just picking it up and shaking it because the game, uh, once you shake it, the game automatically randomizes each side. Um, so if you look, I will pick up this uh, one, one die, it's a class side. If I shake it and just let it go, it automatically randomizes it automatically randomizes it. Uh, to add a little bit more randomization, I'll roll it across the table a little bit. Randomized. Um, that's the same thing with the decks as well. So if you wanted to uh, shuffle your deck, you can either hit R or you can pick it up and shake it as well. Um, with this one, I actually prefer just leaving it on the table and shuffling it with the R key, uh, only because then I don't have to move the deck around, replace the deck. It makes it much faster for me personally. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to tabletop simulator, playing Ashes on tabletop simulator. Um... There are some other things. Definitely, just uh, go through and you know test everything out. They have a tutorial. If you go into the main menu, they do have a tutorial that allows you to uh, try out different things. Uh, there's even an achievement for completing the tutorial at a certain number um, of seconds. So anyway, this is Ten Doll Horse. Um, Definitely check out Ashes Wednesday and uh, also check out um, the main action. They have a show every other week and uh, it's a really great podcast. Um,